Today I'm going to answer the seven most common questions we get asked by international students and professionals looking for a job in the UK. What's up guys, it's Mike from Job Reading English, here to provide the best source of information for international students and professionals who want to work in the UK. Welcome to the New Look channel and to our new studio. The coat is on because the studio is a little bit chilly this morning. Sorry that we haven't put out any new content for you guys recently. We've been super busy doing so many exciting things and we're really looking forward to serving you in 2022. So to kick off the new look for the channel and the fact that we're really just going to be concentrating on the issues, comments, concerns and questions from international students in particular who want to work in the UK, I wanted to take the time to answer the seven most common questions that we get asked by international students. Question two, will I get employed under the new graduate route? The new graduate route which came around earlier this year and has been going since July the 1st is a real godsend for international students. Now I've been providing coaching and consulting since 2013 and I remember the really dark days under Theresa May when it felt like students were just basically being told to come here, pay money to study and then go home as quickly as possible and really felt like they weren't wanted. And one thing that I've been really heartened by is that there are more and more Indian students coming to the UK because we really lost a lot of respect from India for the stance that we had. And really we're attracting a lot of phenomenal global talent. The graduate route in short is an opportunity for you to stay and work in the UK for two years under the graduate route. Now, what are the problems with that when you're applying for a graduate scheme? Well, first of all, most graduate schemes are for three years and not for two years. So the graduate route wouldn't actually extend to include the full term of your training contract. Say for example, a common job that we deal with is an audit position to become an ACA trained auditor at one of the big four, which is PwC, Deloitte, EY and KPMG. You wouldn't actually be able to complete your training contract. So what does that mean for you? Well, there are a few things to think about with this. First of all, employers have always been historically very slow. For adjusting to regulatory change. It's always definitely a good idea for you to ask that question to them directly, whether that be via phone or via email. It does give employers a lot of opportunity to take somebody on essentially to trial them. I know that we've had a lot of conversations recently with students who said, well, I just want to get a skilled worker visa because the graduate route doesn't contribute towards indefinite leave to remain and eventually permanent residency. But one way to think about it is that you need to probably provide the information to the employers, particularly the smaller ones. And I'm talking about companies that may be massive, but really don't have any idea about the graduate route. Just to explain, actually, I'm just like a home student. You can employ me straight away. I don't need to get sponsored. I can stay and work in the UK. And then potentially, should I be a good candidate, would you then be willing to sponsor me into this role? How that's going to work for bigger companies honestly remains to be seen. We generally tend to see the adjustments will fall in in the next graduate season. So we might see some companies response or changes. PwC always tend to be ahead of the curve because the immigration team is the best in my eyes in the UK and they deal with a lot of the large employers in helping them process immigration requests for international students and professionals. You'll notice that PwC is one of the few websites will actually say whether they have the right to sponsor for this particular role rather than as a company. But it remains to be seen about the impact of the graduate route. I think the onus still unfortunately is on the student themselves to educate their employer and just say, hey, did you know I don't actually need to get sponsored? You don't need to get me a visa. I can just show, apply for this, show you this thing and get working straight away. So that one is still very much work in progress. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know that we're also going to be chopping it up. So we've got each of the individual questions there to ask. We're gonna be coming at you over the next coming weeks and months and answering every question that you have. If there's a question I've missed or a comment that you wanna make, please, please drop it down below. Help us to become the biggest and best source of information for international students in the UK. And I will see you on the other side. Bye.